Front page of the Daily Mirror this morning. Cost of living agony. We'll never put our heating on again. Can you imagine? A couple have turned off their heating and fear that they will never, ever, ever be able to afford to put their heating on again. Gerald, he's 83 and Mayor is 80. They've called Rishi Sunak out of touch with ordinary people. He's a multi, multi, multi millionaire married to a billionaire. He's the Chancellor of fucking Exchequer. He's a Tory. Bills have gone through the roof. They're up by an incredible 54% privatised natural resources. The Tory party licking it. Hand it over to fucking private equity and and it's a multi-millionaire. Look, he's on the front page of the of the Daily Star this morning, Mr. Stroppy. He's <laughs> he's gonna face sleaze investigation. Some say he might do a Prince Harry and flee to the US in a half. That's why they're calling him Mr. Stroppy. The poor thing. He then gets the dreaded top dog vote of confidence. Front page of The Guardian this morning. Sunak, an out-of-touch hypocrite. The Labour leader, Keith, questions the ability of the super-wealthy MPs to relate to the public. <laughs> what? They cut £20 off the poorest, shut down free school meals for kids, and where's £1,000 a roll wallpaper, fucko the clown? He's off to checkers, licking it. Another Tory in his grace and favour. Those castles, those stately homes are not cheap, you know. And who pays their gas and lecky? You do. Mum, Dad, I'm cold. I'm cold. Well, kids, we can barely afford Tory heating bills, let alone ours. <laughs> Look at that there, the cartoon in The Guardian. The morning after bill. <laughs> I thought I'd be safe with a non-dom. Proud American. Fuck's sake, we, 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 as a nation, we can't afford the Tories anymore. 